what's the first thing that you do in the morning after maybe you've gotten your cup of coffee, brushed your teeth, you wipe the little crusties out of your eye? <laughs> what do you do? Do you go and turn on the news? Do you read the digital newspaper that came through your email? What is it that you do first to start your day? Some people read or exercise. What if you put God first in your day? And what does that even look like? I want to talk to you today about that because when we put God first, his word declares in Matthew 6 and 33, it says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And what happens? And in return, all these things will be added unto you. All of these things are all of the the things that we ask God for in prayer, um, maybe you're asking for a relationship to be restored or your marriage, or you're having some sort of emotional struggle or traumatic event, or you need help with your bills or your finances or whatever it is. When you put God first, you seek him first. Put him at the helm of your life. Let him steer and lead and be the Lord of your life. He will multiply your efforts because there is a principle in the Bible and it is basically the law of sowing and reaping it, and it's this. Whatever you give towards the kingdom of God, it's like a seed that you're planting into the ground. Whenever you're giving of your time, you're volunteering the gifts that you have to serve in your church or, you know, maybe you're going to... Um, leadership meetings at the church or trainings or prayer meetings or you're the usher whatever it is that you can give of your time maybe you are a financial donor that helps third world country ministries right whatever it is god will multiply it he will push it down shake it together and cause it to run over for the glory of his name and he will multiply your efforts your finances your energy, you will be surprised if you will just put him in that first place position. How much will come back to your life? Proverbs 3 and 6 says that in everything that you do, put God first and he will direct you and crown your efforts with success. We all want to live a successful life, right? But there's a difference between worldly success and God's type of success. God basically tells us that if he's first and we take care of the things that he loves and the people he loves, he will take care of us. Listen to this. This is one of my favorite scriptures in the Bible. Mark chapter 10, verse 29 and 30. It says, truly, I tell you, Jesus replied, no one who has left home or brothers or sisters, mother, father, or children or fields for the gospel will fail to receive a hundred times as much in this lifetime. Brothers, homes, homes, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, and fields, along with persecutions in this in the age to come that's basically saying that whatever you give over to serve god maybe your family doesn't want you to serve god and you decide i'm going to serve god anyway and so you you turn from that family as hard as it is and you obey god maybe as soon as you were born again or you got baptized your family kind of shunned you and they don't really talk to you because you're a christian God's saying in his word that because you put him first, because you sought first his kingdom, he will bless you abundantly. And he will also provide everything for you that you need at the right time that you need it. Don't forget the piece in that scripture where it says, along with persecutions, because here's the thing about following Jesus we're in a spiritual world. You are a spirit being. That is why when you die, your spirit goes this way and your body goes into the ground. Or maybe it's cremated. 
Either way, your body turns back into dust is what the Bible says. And our spirit lives on forever. So we are spirit beings. And because we are spirit beings, there is a spiritual war. The Bible says that, that we do not war against flesh and blood. We're warring against the darkness, the principalities and the, the princes of the heirs of darkness. That is why as a Christ follower, you feel things, you sense things and, and things seem like people are coming against you or situations seem like they're coming against you is because the devil doesn't want you to succeed. He doesn't want you to have what God has for you. But let me remind you this, when you put God first, when God is the Lord of your life, when he is the one driving the ship of your decisions and your will, you will see what the Bible promises for you. You will see him show up and no devil in hell or on this earth can stop what God wants to do in your life. There's no way around it. When it is time for God to move in your life, every seed you've sown, he will multiply it. He will press it down, shake it together, and cause it to run over to where people are like, what? How do they get all those things in their lives? Or how does their life look so successful from a biblical standpoint? And God does it because he's a show off. <laughs> he wants the glory. So he pours it out on your life. He shows this world who belongs to him. He says, yep, that's my kid. That's my kid. Those are all my kids. You see those successful ones? All them ones that are doing like I said in my word? Those ones are mine. And the more obedient you are to him, the more he pours out onto you. Because when he can trust you, he will keep pouring and pouring and pouring and you will not have enough space to contain it like Malachi 3 and 10 says that God will open up the gates of heaven and pour out a blessing upon you that you won't be able to contain but the previous part of that scripture was when you bring your tithe into the storehouse there's always a God's way of God's way of doing things and when you uh, adhere and obey to God's way of doing things you will see what God's promises are. There's always a, if you do this, then you'll see that kind of a situation. What are you going to do tomorrow morning after you wipe those little crusties out of your eye? You get your cup of coffee. I'm challenging you to put God first. Maybe you don't know God. Maybe you don't know. Maybe the God that you know is the God of like yoga or horoscopes or, you know, palm readings or some kind of new age God, but it's not the one and only Jesus Christ living God, the one who rose Jesus Christ from the dead. The only one that has the empty tomb. It's not that God. That God is the only route that's going to get you or I or any other person who believes in Jesus Christ to heaven. The Bible says we cannot come to the Father unless we go through the Son. No one comes to the Father unless you go through Jesus Christ. You can't go through New Age or Muhammad or palm reading or psychics. None of that. Only through Jesus Christ. So today, if you choose him as your Lord and Savior, all you have to do is invite him in and choose this day that you're going to turn from doing life your way. Surrender your will to him. That means you stop sinning and you turn to him. It doesn't mean you're perfect and you won't make mistakes, but you start going a different route. And he will transform you from the inside out. You will know that you are on the right path. So are you up for the challenge today? If you don't know Jesus, today is the day. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your life. I don't know about you, but every time I get up in the morning and I go look it in the mirror to get ready for work, you look a little bit older. <laughs> We're all going up in age. We're not going down in age. Tomorrow is not promised, my friend. So 
don't waste your life. If you chose Jesus today, please let me know because I want to pray for you. And if you need um, prayer in general, you can email at info at randytafoyaministries.org. Or if you need a Bible, just let me know because I want to help you to get started on your journey with Jesus. And for all of you who always watch these videos, thank you for your support. Thank you for your prayers and for your contributions. I am so grateful. And this ministry is not only spirit led, but it is upheld by those who watch, those who support this ministry. So thank you for your support. Continue to um, pray for this ministry and make your financial contributions. If you want to donate today, you can click the link below make a payment through um, uh, Cash App or PayPal. You can also buy some merchandise through the link that's um, attached as well down below. Come and follow me on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, and I'll see you next time.